Good afternoon, everybody. It's me again, your teacher of English, Ladi Susi. Uh, this lesson, inshallah, is about writing, and the title of the lesson is Linking Words. As you know, linking words are very important while writing um, our piece of writings, like paragraphs, like essays, like uh, articles, or email and letters. So the role of these linking words is that they connect, they link, they connect the sentences together. So they are very important for paragraph coherence or our piece of writing coherence. So they unify the paragraph or the piece of writing. So today there are many types of, of linking words. There are linking words um, of purpose, linking words of cause and effect, linking words of concession, linking words of purpose, Linking words of addition, etc. Today, inshallah, we are be will be focusing on cause and effect linking words. I've listed them here on the whiteboard, and I've put them in two groups. Uh, we will see why. <clears throat> Let's take this example, please. Ali is ill. Ali doesn't come to school. I have two sentences, and I'm going to connect the two sentences and made of them and make of them. Sorry, and make of them one sentence using the word because, for example. So I would say, Ali doesn't come to school because he is, sorry I don't have enough space, because he is ill. So, uh, I made uh, one sentence from these two sentences. Uh, why, I changed, why did I change the order of the sentences? This, this, this one came here, and this one uh, came here. Why? Because this is my cause, and this is my sentence of result or effect. So, this is the cause. And this is the result, this is the cause and effect. This is the cause and this is the effect. So the word or the linking word because normally is used uh, uh, in the middle of the sentence and it is always followed by uh, cause. Most of the time it's in the middle of the sentence. So um, what is important is that it is always followed by a cause. So all these words here are linking words uh, that are followed by cause. Let's see the example here. So, if we want to connect the two sentences using so, for example, I would say, Ali is ill, comma, so he doesn't come to school. So it's very important to know whether the linking word they gave me in the national exam is followed by a cause or is normally followed by a consequence. So all these linking words here are followed by cause. And all these words here or these linking words here are followed by good. or consequence or result. Very good. So with these ones here, there is no problem. But with these ones here, here, sorry, this one, this one's here, no problem. They are all the same. We can say, I doesn't come to school because he is ill. I doesn't come to school as he is ill. I doesn't come to school for he is ill. I doesn't come to school since he is ill. No problem. They can, they are interchangeable. But these four here, they are a little problematic. Why? Because all of these need to be followed by a noun. How is that? Let's take the example we have. Ali is, uh, sorry, Ali doesn't come School, they say because of so 
So I'm going to need to change it to change the sentence here. And all this sentence is no more, uh, will, will no more be like this, it will change into a noun. So the noun from ill is good, illness. So because of his illness. So as you have noticed here, because of is a linking word followed by cause, but it needs to be followed by a noun in the form of a noun, not a form of a sentence like here. So, all the linking words here, there is no problem, they are followed by a sentence. These four too are followed by a sentence, but these four here are followed by a noun. Now, what if uh, I can't uh, make the noun during the day of the exam? Is there a solution? Yes, there is a solution. There are three magical words that you can use after the uh, linking word because of and you do not change the, the form of the sentence. You keep the sentence as a sentence. So, I would say, Ali doesn't come to school because of the three words are the Fact that. Three words. The fact that. And after that, you keep the sentence as it is. He is ill. And it is correct. So, uh, he doesn't come to school because of the fact that he is ill. Uh, please learn these three words by heart because you can use them whenever you have a linking word that necessitates that, sorry, that necessitates a noun afterwards. It means whenever there is a linking word, uh, after which you are obliged to put a noun, you can use these three words. We will see this afterwards with other types of linking words, inshallah. So, um, uh, what we have said so far with because of is said with due to, thanks to, and owing to. So, they, all of them, they need a, a noun. Now, there is a slight difference between because of and due to, and be between thanks to and owing to. And the difference is that in, uh, in terms of uh, connotation, or uh, what, what, what we mean by them. So, because of and due to, they have negative form. And do mana silbi. In Arabic, we call, uh, translate them into Arabic, we call uh, bisababi, exactly, bisababi. But thanks to and owing to, they have a positive connotation, uh, what we call in Arabic, or what we call it in Arabic, into bifadli. So bifadli is positive, but uh, because of and due to is negative. So here, I can say, I can say, uh, Ali doesn't come to school uh, thanks to uh, his illness, thanks to his illness. In grammar, it's correct. What is in meaning? I'm not so sure. So if I want to say here, um, for example, I give you another sentence so that you can understand. I'll give you another sentence. So, Ali got a good mark. Ali worked hard. So we can say, Ali got a good mark. Mark. So I can say here because of, I would say, thanks to his hard, sorry, I need to, to clean this out here, hard work. So thanks to here is bifadli, because this thing here, the sentence here, is affirmative. But the other sentence here uh, is negative, it is something bad, something not good. But working, uh, having a good mark is something good, positive. That's why we use here thanks to or away to instead of because of or due to. This is just in difference in meaning. So um, uh, let's see if you can uh, if you can uh, uh, really use these linking words in an exercise uh, uh, in which you can uh, perform and practice this, this exercise.
So let's see this exercise on the whiteboard. Uh, the exercise is, uh, they ask you to connect the two sentences here and make of them one sentence using the word in, in brackets, the linking word in brackets. Number one, I didn't eat my breakfast this morning. I am a little hungry. So, uh -huh. we said, therefore, is a linking word of cause and effect, and it is followed by, good, the consequence or the result. Where is the result here? Good, I'm a little hungry. So this sentence will come afterwards, after therefore. So it will stay here. And I didn't eat my breakfast in the morning, will be the first one. And I need to pay attention to the punctuation of the word therefore. It is always followed by, uh, preceded by a full stop and followed by a comma. So the answer will be I didn't eat my breakfast this morning. Full stop. Therefore, comma, I'm little hungry. Good. Number two. The football match was delayed. It rained heavily. Because of. So, because of is linking word of cause and effect. And normally it is followed by accident, by a cause. And we said that because of needs to be followed by a noun. Very good, excellent. Now, where is here the cause? Good, so this is my cause. So this sentence will come afterwards here. But it's not a sentence, we need to transform the sentence. What's this begin? The Football match was delayed uh -huh. because of we can use it like this way the heavy rain. This is now the heavy rain because of the heavy rain. All this is a noun group. This is a noun adjective letter uh, the uh, indefinite article. And all this is a noun group and it functions like a noun. Imagine I can't uh, write a sentence like this. I can use the three magical words and I would say the football match was delayed because of the fact that it rained heavily. And it's correct also. Number three. He didn't stop at the lights, he had an accident. And as a result. Good. So this is my result. This is my cause, sentence of cause. As a result, it's followed by can sequence. So I need to take this sentence and put it afterwards here. So I would say he didn't stop at the lights. Semicolon. As a result, comma, he had an accident. The teacher refused to let him in. He came very late. As is a linking word of cause and effect, and it is normally followed by a cause. Where is my cause here? This is the cause here. He came very late. And the teacher refused to let him in. Good. So the teacher let him in. Sorry, must be called as. As he. Sorry. As he came very late. So this is how we uh, uh, do exercise in case they give you this type of exercise in the national exam. Sometimes they may give you a gap filling exercise, an exercise with gaps, and you need to fill them with the suitable linking words. Or 
they could give you or they can give you an exercise or matching exercise sentences with that express either purpose or cause effect or addition or whatever uh, type of, of, of action and they give you in the other side of the table their meaning with the sentence express function uh, express sorry uh, purpose cause effect addition concession contrast etc so i hope um, i was clear uh, with this lesson and inshallah we will meet in the next video with the second type of linking words and this time i'm going to do uh, linking words of purpose so see you soon bye